Are we all here, guys? The Brian Five or Six Show returns. Yeah. Great timing. Great timing. Gary, what are you doing right now? Where are you? I'm I'm in the bunker underneath my home, polishing, trying to clean out the beer bottles before I bring them into the house. You don't have a bunker. That's the friggin' That's the in-law suite. Emmy's in-law suite. What's the difference? Where's her parents? They're obviously not here. Oh my god. Well, boys, we we've been meaning we were actually going to start the real podcast again because we moved to a brand new studio. And the moment we were going to record uh, a pandemic hit the world, which the likes it's never seen since. Tell me that. Tell me that. The, the great plague of 2019, or no, 19, 1890. Yeah. It's almost like the, the only good thing about this pandemic is that it delayed the podcast a little bit. <laughs> What's yeah. that? So, so. Now we don't have to go to work. Do we have more time to drink? That's about it. I see a few things haven't changed and a few things have changed. And one of them is your fucking attitude, Jeremy. <laughs> this yeah. smart, mark, smart remark right off the get-go. Well, I'm still working. You guys are at home. Oh, so my. I'm, I'm working. We, I, I guess you go in, what, 20 minutes every day? I gotta, I'm cutting grass now, Jeremy. I got laid off like right. a week before the COVID hit, hit Ottawa. Like a week before. So I don't know if it was... Because of that, but they said I get back probably legally. No, what? What are you talking about, Gary? Fuck! I can't even hear you with your. Look at you. You're you're way overdoing it, bud. How many beers is that? I'm just polishing three for tonight. Oh my god! It's getting cleaned up. Four maybe. Well, okay. <laughs> Um, our, our first podcast, we were supposed to talk about the state of the Ottawa Senators. And um, since that time, is that Vaseline? No, it's Purell. Oh, my. You don't need to Purell your body. That They say not to do that, actually. Why? That's because you could open up the pores, and then that just is a gateway for all different types of bacteria and bugs. That's bullshit. Ah, read it on CNN. Anyways, fuck. Um, okay, so Jeremy, it's been a it's been about how many months since our last podcast? I think the audience wants to know what you've been up to, and um, how are you surviving the pandemic? Well, nothing has changed for me. <laughs> I'm going to work every single day because apparently I'm an essential service, and. Uh, been getting some beer deliveries from breweries right yeah. really living a kind of meager lame existence right now like everyone else just on the booze eh <laughs> bears no. the milk's family name <laughs> but anything any any interesting tidbits on hockey yeah how about that last sense game eh <laughs> you remember i don't even remember it i think it was against the la kings it was the very last NHL hockey game ever. Oh, I must have been watching reruns. Done. Are you guys are you guys prepared to watch hockey uh, up until August? No. Like if that's what it takes. I mean if they actually come back? Yeah. No, they're not coming back, Jeremy. Yeah, I don't think they are either. Haven't you seen the movie Mad Max? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, laugh all you want, buddy. But pretty soon the whole fucking planet will be a toxic wasteland. What do you got? What do you got there, Gary? Oh, a nice little bottle of tequila from Mexico. Uh, I actually just got back. Um, yeah. Are you self quarantining? Oh, sorry. Open your fucking lips. Are you self quarantining? Open my no. What's that mean? You just came back from Mexico. You can't leave your fucking uh, barn for a good four, what fourteen. How am I supposed to get my groceries? How am I supposed to get my DVDs? Gary, if I hear, if I find out that you fucking left your house after being in Mexico, you're gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 
fucking put you in the hospital myself. I leave the house every day. Okay, shut the fuck up. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, let's start this again, guys. I'm being safe about it, <laughs> obviously. Start this again. Let, let's just go with it. I think so. I just want to let the audience know that we are back officially. As soon as this bullshit ends, uh, we have a brand new studio. State yeah. of the art. Uh, oh. Microphones that cost like 30 bucks each. And um, we're going to have special guests, this, I think. And I think the first one is uh, Tony Todd. He's going to be on the podcast next. <laughs> Friend yeah. Tony Todd from uh, Run Through. And, uh, but you, we can't do it now. We can't do gas right now because, you know, there's a potential you could kill someone just by being in their presence. Is that fucked? So uh, what's going on with Larry? Where is he stationed right now? And is he Larry by himself? Is in a, what? Is he by himself? So Larry is actually in uh, India. Um, what? He's in India on vacation and uh, he's trapped, obviously. He can't get back, there's no fights. And uh, the last I heard, he just got beat, beaten basically to near death by policemen with uh, giant baseball bats. They beat him good. I saw it on the news, actually. Uh, his legs. And uh, I saw the camera cut away because one of the uh, policemen shot at the camera guy. And uh, the last I saw his legs were just, they were bloody. And uh, so I haven't heard from him since. I'm pretty sure Larry's in a prison, if, if not dead already. And, um, but pff, fucking who cares, right? We don't need Larry this year. I, I actually think we do. Like, yeah, I think we do as well. What has he ever done for us? He's always gotten us in fucking trouble. We gotta call some people and uh, we gotta get him back home. I bet you, you think I have been trying? I fucking called. Lanark Police Department. Yeah, what are they gonna fucking do? They fucking hunt up on me. Oh my god. You know you've you've never been able to pronounce a G at the end of hunt of hunk. You always say hun. <laughs> Did you notice that? <laughs> no. They hunt up on me. Okay, you yeah. know you know damn well I can't do my G's, Jeremy. Yeah. He's hung <laughs> like a horse. I say sing and I can't say sing. I it doesn't make sense to me to say the g at the end of those words. It doesn't compute well, yeah it's weird but it's not really good it's just a it's just a, a, a bit of a sound that you got to hang on yeah. to make the word sound it sounds like a bit of a speech impediment if you ask me <laughs> oh, yeah. now sorry guys i gotta put on my uh i have to put on my safety mat why sorry i'm getting direction here from lonnie <laughs> My COVID mask protects you. Is that FDA approved? 20 minutes? Every fucking 20, okay. 20, every 20 minutes, you got to put it on. Take it off for five, leave on for 20. Okay. It's, it just, it, it doubles the chance of not getting the COVID-19. It doubles the chance of getting it? I'm not scary. You, you fucking smart. open up your goddamn, like you're sitting so far away. Look at you. God, smart. God damn it. So, uh, I also wanted to talk about how the NHL has delayed. I'm in the bunker. Leave me alone, Tanny. No. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Jesus. What is Tammy saying? I can't get two minutes to myself. You know, Tammy's fucking probably hoping you get the COVID and die. That's why I'm down here like this in my basement. I've been telling you. The bunker. Um, fuck, you interrupted me. Uh, oh, yeah, so the NHL draft lottery. Hey, is that even going to still go on? Or is that delayed too, Jeremy? It's all delayed. No one knows what's happening. Well, why can't they do the lottery at least? Is that delayed? I want to know if Ottawa's getting the first overall pick. That's all I Everything's know. delayed. They've delayed everything. Everything's on standby right now. Everything in the world. I even, I even Let's heard that. Let's talk in a month. It's going to be another month, and maybe they'll figure something out. Oh, man. I hope we – do you think – what are the odds that we never, ever, ever in our lifetime see an NHL game ever again? Well, that would mean because you would have died. Well, no, like, they just don't ever come back because it's just so fucked. 
<laughs> oh, There's still a lot of money to be made. Don't worry. I can't breathe in this, Lonnie. Are you sure? So it's clear to me that both of you are not coping with uh, isolation very well. What are you talking I mean, about? you both look psychotic right now. <laughs> I look at Gary. He's fucking looks like a. You know what? I'm not surprised though. Gotta get some air. I gotta. Surprise the guy. Like if the first guy that I if I if I had a piece of paper and I, and the on the piece of paper it said who the fuck is gonna die first because they're fucking idiots and there's a list of them. Gary up that list. Fucking idiot. He couldn't fucking survive a fucking. Fuck ice. you. If the ice was made from fucking cotton candy. All right. In the face. What are you going to do over there? What are you going to fucking do over there? Sit over there. You can't do shit. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. We're doing the podcast, Gary. We've been talking about this. I'm sick of your delays. You're always delaying me. You're always like with your fucking excuses. We were supposed to do this podcast two months ago. Typical asshole. I hate you. I hate you. Maybe, maybe I should get back to my family. Oh, Jeremy, fucking calm down. We got important things to talk about. Did you know they closed movie theaters? <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about that. So, like, okay, what about The Invisible Man? That movie just came out. And I was going to go see it, and I couldn't go see it. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it, you'll, you'll see it eventually. They have it on streaming services now. That's a cool thing, I think, is that they're actually putting movies that are in theaters, or supposed to be in theaters, they're going to put it out, like, for streaming so you could buy it. And well, I'm it. guessing you, you've been binging, uh, binging horror movies? I've been binging a lot of horror movies. I'm a huge horror buff, uh, doing a lot of reviews. Gary, fucking get up! I'm getting warm. This is embarrassing. We have sponsors, you know. I'm getting really warm. Guess what, Jeremy? We actually don't have any sponsors yet. Although, there is talk. Just bad news after bad news after bad news. I'm going to put this out there. Revolution, we're in talks for big things, boys. Really? That? Oh, my God. That's, that's the best news I've heard all day. Some fucking rumors. What, what happened to Toby Spinus? I thought they were the sponsor. So me and Toby are in a bit of a tizzle right now. Uh, you know how Toby is trying to rebuild the brewery, right? Yeah. Tucker comes to me, says, uh, can I borrow a good 300 bucks uh, for supplies? And I said, I, I looked him dead in the eyes and I said, you, you fucking serious? That's what I said to him. And he goes, what? And I said, after the shit you pulled on us, you fucking almost killed us, and you're asking me for money? And so we haven't talked since that. And um, we, we ruined his life. We destroyed his we were, business. We did, no, okay, well, if anyone ruined anyone's life, Gary fucking ruined Toby's life, but Toby, we were there. No, on his Toby's accord. wife still sends me Christmas cards every year. She's the sweetest lady. She, she forgives me every Christmas. Because Toby can't use his legs. Toby doesn't have a wife, buddy. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, who are you talking to? What? That's Chloe. <laughs> who the Not fuck? Toby. Chloe. Chloe's grandmother. Fucking Chloe from fucking Minnie Mark. Wow. Oh my god, dude. One of the so Toby is getting Toby is gonna get the, the brewery biggest. going again, is that right? Well, he's trying, but I told him to go fuck himself. But Brew Revolution, mm. we're in talks of maybe them creating uh, Toby's uh, original recipe, Toby's finest uh, lager, right? Yeah. Or uh, maybe even possibly they could develop the Vanier Superb. Couldn't, couldn't Toby uh, sue us for that, though? Or yeah, not them. only did we destroy Toby's life and his business, now we're profiting selling his beer recipe to another brewery to profit. Oh, fuck. I could have been killed. It's the least. <laughs> it's the least he can do. No, wow. can he talks for big things. I don't give a fuck about Toby. Toby, if he wants to call me, he knows what to say. He could call me, and uh, he could get on board 
with this. And uh, but basically, uh, we're gonna have a uh, Toby's Finest is gonna be out in stores. We're hoping, and uh, the you know we're gonna get 50, 50, 50 of the profits. And uh, I I think it's gonna be a huge seller. That's three fifties. Get up. Yeah. That's. I can't. I can't move. My lower body doesn't work. It's. I promise when we do the podcast in the studio, Gary won't fuck fuck everything up like he is now. I'm sorry, well, uh, but let's I'm just gonna, see about the I'm, season coming up. Once this fucking pandemic goes away, hopefully it goes away. Right, Jeremy? I heard they're working on uh, some some vaccines. Is that what you heard? The same? Great. No. And so we are gonna have. It's going to be bigger, better than ever. Best podcast, like number one, uh, number one in different countries. And uh, I'm thinking that. You cut your own hair, didn't you? What did you do to your hair? Did you cut it yourself? What? What's wrong with it? That's fucking nice. Look, it's got the fade. See that? It's not a very good fade, man. Shady fade. I'm going to need one of you to pick me up and take me to the hospital today. Gary, you don't trust me. You don't want to go to the hospital. I don't care if your back is broken. You don't fucking go there right now. Trust me. (laughs) You suck it up right now. Yeah, suck it up. Go fucking get get Tammy to get you a bag of ice. Bag of peas. She can't hear me from down here. Don't want to go to that hospital. And you're not fucking coming near me ever again. Regardless of a pandemic. Regardless. Mm. Oh, Jeremy, remember we want to talk about that we actually have, uh, we forgot to uh, mention that we have Chad the researcher back on board. Oh, no way. Yeah. So I first. So, so finally, we're going to have some legit stats and legit information. None of that bullshit that you've been bringing to the pot. I still have all those sheets, a bunch of bullshit you left in my house. Right. Stats. Right. Line combinations like it's now we got some professional so mm-hmm. look out chris johnson chris jo- johnson and uh elliot friedman here we come because we have fucking chad the ultimate nhl insider he's doing all research for us i'll give you one fucking tidbit that he gave me let me bring that over uh, the tidbit from chad it's impossible for alex ovechkin to beat the record for goals because um if he did he would be shot and killed that make it makes sense it makes who's sense. gonna all oh, that that's some serious that's a big story if, if he, yeah bob bobby or would come after him for sure like a, I, I bet you the nhl is run by mob like a mob it would be a huge story if a, a superstar got oh. shot and killed oh. because because of breaking Wayne Gretzky. Like that means Wayne Gretzky's involved somehow yeah. in that. Uh, that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like this is the juicy stories. His and, daughter, huh? His daughter. Whose daughter? She just can't bear to see her father's record broken. So Wayne Gretzky's daughter is the hitman. No, I think she probably would hire somebody. Holy, breaking it wide open, Jeremy. This is what I'm talking about. We get this fucking tidbit from Chad. We get your analysis. And look at the fucking, it's turned into a, a fucking huge Hollywood story. She's yeah. pretty cute, that too. Great. That's she's, what I'm talking about. This she's pretty cute, too. Gary, shut the fuck up. Uh, this is why we are going to be the best. And uh, not only that, but we have another surprise for everybody, is that we are going to do... Uh, Gary's Conspiracy Minute. It's coming back. Remember how popular oh. it was? Gary's oh, Conspiracy Minute. And I throw it to you. I know you're prepared, Gary. I sent you the fucking memo. Give us your first Gary's Conspiracy. Go. So, COVID-19. Man-made. Think about it. Not coming from a bat or a man from China. It's a man-made laboratory virus. And it's here to teach us lessons it's actually here to teach us lessons i got all the maps i got all the world maps up how here. do you fucking turn it off how do you turn gary off that's a fucking bullshit lines oh. 
That's a bullshit. That's been all over the internet. It's already no, been debunked. It's true. it's true. It's not fucking true. You gotta it see seems like Clinton's it's really emails. taught you guys a few lessons. And the Clinton emails will tell you everything you need to know. The, the what? The Clinton? Okay, fucking... <laughs> well, we have some special news, Jeremy. We will not be bringing back Gary's conspiracy minute this season because that's a huge fuck up right away. First thing, first things first. Remember, we talked about bringing, um, really modernizing the podcast and doing a, a true crime minute. Because tr- true crime podcasts are re- are what what really uh, tops the charts. You're right. And maybe we can incorporate that a bit. Now, you told me that idea, and I, I still think that's the worst idea I've ever heard. But what do you mean? Like, I'm willing to give it a shot. Just, just in Ottawa, Canada alone, our territory, different communities, different villages, is ripe with and rich with uh, different crime crimes in the f- past that we can talk about. Like, how about the great heist of, uh, of Pembroke? Do you remember that one? In uh, 1940, the great heist, Pembroke, the curling rink. You remember they went there and took the safe? That's, no one knows who took that safe. And there was like 20 bucks in there. Do you remember that 20 bucks now is about 40,000 now. You could just do a, a podcast on Pembroke or like Munster Hamlet or something. Exactly. My, oh, just don't the, get me started on Munster Hamlet. You know what's not growing underground there, <laughs> Munster Hamlet, eh? What? You know, what's the going underground? Thing. Illegal coffee bean. Coffee. Illegal. Bean. Where do you think yeah. Tim Hortons is getting their, why is it driving their prices down? Oh, they, shit. They don't have to go overseas, international seas to get their coffee beans. This is what I'm that, talking about. This is like the thing we're going to talk about. That's a conspiracy <laughs> minute and a half. And I'm very, oh, fuck off, Gary. That's a main, that's a, that's yeah, a that's, that's the shit that comes into your mouth. That's a 90 seconds conspiracy minute. That's up 30 seconds. That's a good segment. You can't just talk about hockey now because guess what? There is no fucking hockey. Oh, let's talk about basketball. Guess what? There is no fucking basketball. So we got to, we got to, you know, mix it up a bit because otherwise no one's going to fucking listen. You say, what's the latest scores of the NHL? Guess what? You look at it. It's fucking blank. So Good luck to fucking impress hockey people with that. So this is why we got to branch out a bit. We got to talk movies. We got to talk. Uh, we got to talk camping. A lot, there's a lot of campers out there. We got to talk about like different fucking sleeping bags. How to build a fire. Like how to roast the fucking perfect marshmallow. No one fucking knows. It's either black or it's white or it's in between somewhere. This gets a great trail. So I'm excited. And there's a lot of campers out there. <laughs> Dude, I can't they believe know you what said I'm that. Ta- they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. I got let's wrap it up. It's uh, children you know, sleeping in their beds. My family not knowing what's happening here. I'm down here talking about Munster Hamlet. Well, this is what, but we got it. Like I said, like I said, that people are interested. People are fucking on the internet right now talking about like uh, uh, sourdough spreads or some shit or sourdough. What yeah, is I've that seen about? that. Yeah. And their and their friggin' uh, salary spread, like it's just the hipsters now, right? So this is well, what I'm like I'm guilty of that too on Twitter. I, I I get a beer delivery and I post a photo of it or whatever. That's getting really corny and lame too, right? Everyone likes talking about beer. Everyone likes talking about different alcohols and drugs. So you know we could get into that, the history of drugs. Maybe that'll be our next episode. We could talk about all the different drugs, cocaine. <laughs> Yes. Let's talk about all the different drugs that Gary is on. Currently. Gary's clearly on some because look at that fucking head on him. Look at look at his <laughs> look at asshole. Why'd you hey. shave your head? Because of the it's it's to protect yourself from the COVID. And That's, my, oh my, my hairdresser uh, retired. My hairdresser Linda retired. Yeah, she retired because she couldn't stand looking at you. Oh, my God. Boys, I think we're going to get uh, this. Let's make this a regular thing until at least the fucking. And uh, all right. hopefully none of us get sick. We're all safe. Quarantine. I, I really look forward to these. Yeah. Yeah. We'll touch base once a week, twice a week, whatever. Fuck. We'll do whatever it takes. And we're going to talk about different fucking things. And it's going to be exciting. I'm excited. Uh, Larry's not here right now. Hopefully he gets back from India, and if he does, and well, fuck yeah, I'll get him to uh, like I'm. I don't even know what I'm doing here, to be honest. And I'm hoping I can get his expertise uh, how to use this fucking computer, new computer, by the way. 
Hopefully this is fucking even recording, so. Yeah, did you record this, or is this going live? It's fucking, no, it's not live, but it is recording, so. Can you, can you, can you still pick me up? Gary, it's, no, we can't be seen together, ever. <laughs> it's quarantined. Where'd you get uh, the toilet paper, by the way? What oh, is that, cash for your premium? That's nothing. No, that's nothing. Where the fuck did you get that, Gary? No, don't, it's, no, it's not, what'd you think? That's mine. Holy fuck you. We're gonna go, Tammy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Tammy. Hey, okay. I'm gonna kill you!